For a first order linear system, y prime equals a y. I'd like to reinforce what linearly independent solutions means. Two solutions y1 and y2 are linearly independent if their initial conditions are linearly independent vectors. So on the left I have a system that turns out to be a sink with initial conditions on the solutions of 1, 1 and 1, 2. Those are the eigenvectors associated with minus 3 and minus 4 respectively for that matrix. I'm not going to show you where these solutions came from, I'm just demonstrating solutions. The initial conditions of those two solutions are 1, 1 and 1, 2. The eigenvectors themselves, that's the nice part about writing it in the notation, 1, 1 e to the minus 3t and 1, 2 e to the minus 4t. Since 1, 1 and 1, 2 are not multiples of each other, those two initial conditions are linearly independent vectors. That means these two solutions are linearly independent solutions. Here's a solution to a system that has complex eigenvalues. And it's hard to look at these two as functions to determine if they're linearly independent. But if you look at their initial conditions, plug in 0 for each t, you have initial conditions of 1, 0, and 0, 1. Those are independent vectors. And so these two solutions are linearly independent solutions.